at the um, the hospital, the Princesa. How do you feel about the assembly? Okay, I've been participating today in the first assembly in the Princesa uh, because uh, yesterday uh, we we celebrated uh, we we organized uh, two huge demonstrations, concentrations around the hospital uh, with uh, neighbors and uh, patients and, um, and uh, um, medical staff from from the hospital and it was a huge uh, demonstration and lots of people were waiting to know what's next in, in, in this thing. And I'm working with a group of people, a group of organizations and associations and social movements called, uh, called the Platform Platform for the Citizens uh, Audit of the Debt. And then we met yesterday too. So uh, we wanted to come here to, to, to express our support and to offer our um, support to, to to this uh, movement against the closure of the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, how, how, how would you describe the the feeling inside the um, the hospital today? Okay, the, it was uh, very. There was lots of energy with there. There was lots of people, different people, with the same concern, which is the, the hospital being closed up by the regional government. And there were uh, medical staff, the other health staff, and uh, people from the neighborhood. And everybody wanted to talk. Everybody wanted to express their feelings. And there was, there was like a, a interest of expressing uh, their feelings and emotions about this and their thoughts. And it, I think it's uh, great. It was maybe very noisy and so on, and not very well. Uh, to be very uh, better organized, but I think it's a the, 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 a fresh start of a very interesting movement around this. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is like the next step in terms of organization? Okay, I think uh, up to now there has been a um, mobilization of the of the um, medical staff and mm -hmm. the health staff of the of the hospital. They all. All workers in the hospital are in, in, have been pushing this. Also, the students of medicine students, because this is a university hospital. Lots of students are getting their training, specialized training in this hospital. Uh, and of course, the uh, massive and spontaneous participation of the, the neighbors and citizens concerned about this. The thing is, uh, this the next actions I think should be. Uh, first of all, uh, getting a wider social basis to mm -hmm. confront these proposals from the regional government. They, this this the most, they, it's a, um, demand from the hospital for not being close to stay as it is uh, has, uh, has a pot potential mobile, uh, uh, pot can potentially be very mobilizing because lots of people are concerned with this. And there should be also a link with other hospitals in the same situation or in different situations, but also uh, linked to uh, erosion of, the, of the, the public health services mm -hmm. in Madrid. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, the, these, um, these closures and privatizations are affecting uh, thousands of hospitals across Europe. Uh, do, you, do you think that this is a good opportunity for there to be international coordination between hospitals and those interested in saving them? I definitely think so. Uh, I think we have to raise the voice of uh, uh, to, to call the attention of what's happening at a European or even wider level mm -hmm. because the, uh, the lots, of, lots of times the, the local politicians consider or use the, the fact that we are in this situation with this specific mm -hmm. budget and it's this what is happening here and we cannot do anything else but privatizing or closing i think uh, it would be very useful to have a wider picture of what's happening in europe in in, in all the countries in europe where um, national systems are being privatized national health systems education system and so on and it would be great to have
common stories, uh, common actions, and then mm. major coordination. I think so. um, how, how many um, hospitals are there in Madrid? Um, do you know? Yeah, I really don't know mm-hmm. that exactly because uh, uh, there, as I heard today in the assembly, there are forty major uh, health centers. Mm-hmm. I really am not a part of the health system, so I don't know that. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, these forty major uh, health uh, uh, centers are conformed by uh, are from by uh, hospitals and specialized uh, specialized clinics or. Uh, Psychiatric centers or whatever, mm-hmm. but I, do, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to venture out, mm-hmm. but maybe. But, but there's, it, but there are other, are there, there are other hospitals that are doing the same thing in yeah. Madrid. Yes. Yes, there's this weekend, which was a bank mm-hmm. holiday too, so people were not so very connected to uh, media and mm-hmm. news and so on. They decided to unpopular, very unpopular uh, measure, which has been turning Hospital La Princesa into a, a hospital specialized in older people, older than 75 people, but without specialized attention to them. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the other hand, several um, hospitals, six hospitals that were built in the recent years from public and private funds, it was a mixture of public and private funds. They are going private uh, in, in the next months. And and uh, there, these two measures have been uh, uh, released by the regional government of Madrid this weekend. Mm-hmm. There is um, there's another uh, hospital facing closure back in London that we have mm-hmm. some, some connections with now. Do you have any uh, words of encouragement or advice for them? I really didn't know that. <laughs> I'm sure I know that uh, the national health system in in uh, in uh, United Kingdom is also under a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. It's a very similar pressure uh, like we are suffering here. But I didn't know exactly that information. But it would be great to pass words of uh, encouragement from users and medical staff and uh, health staff from one side to the other. I mm-hmm. think that would be encouraging in the very, these very tough times mm-hmm. and everything. So. Danny, do you have any questions from Hungary? Well, I think our health system is, is in, in a really bad shape. So we still have good doctors in Hungary, mm-hmm. but it, it's worse than just being privatized. You always have to just uh, give money for the doctors um, privately to, to actually get some care. So I'm not sure how we <laughs> we could... Um, act in Hungary to, to save the, the health system. So that, that's why I'm trying to help in different countries to gather information. But uh, yeah, I'm still concerned about the, the hospital in London because they want to shut it down uh, department by department. Okay. And there's a group of people, like a campaign group, uh, waiting outside of the hospital to, to occupy it. But I think they haven't done that yet mm-hmm. uh, in any form. So, so they're a bit scared. To, how to do it, and this would help a great deal because what's happening here now. Mm-hmm. If we can connect these, these groups of people and, and, and have some information going on, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, any closing words of advice, encouragement, comments, um, yeah. challenges? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of them, but especially I would like to say that this is uh, we all people, societies in Europe, we are suffering the same thing. We uh, have enjoyed up to now the great standards of uh, social uh, services and healthcare and education, public education, because and it was not for free. It was because we fought for that. Our uh, grandparents and parents uh, fought for to get what we uh, are in, have been joining up to now and we are losing and we are at stake. It's not a, something that, uh, um, it's not just hard times that will pass. It's uh, a change of the model and they are uh, attacking uh, what is uh, a precious treasure of our societies, which is our uh, social services and our uh, social rights and we have to defend that it's there is nothing more urgent than that mm-hmm. and i encourage all people from europe to do so 
and of course uh, we are together in this. We, we as I am as, as a Spanish, I not feel feel attacked or blamed by Germany or uh, uh, other northern countries. I think uh, people for all people in all European countries and in the rest of the world, of course, which is uh, very hard times too. Uh, we are uh, all together against uh, capital interests, uh, capitalistic interests, and we have to, to challenge that. Okay, words of solidarity and unity from Madrid. <laughs> this is uh, Donny Vortex of ONN signing off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>